Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building another family home in Copperdale for my save file. So yeah, this is the first family home we've done in I think about a week, maybe like a week and a half. I think the last two speed builds that I did were both community lots. So this is actually, yeah, like I said, the first family home that we've done in about a week or so. So yeah, it was really fun getting back to, you know, doing something that's very much like in my comfort zone, if that makes sense. So I had a lot of fun building this house, which is why it is like 40-ish minutes long, just the speed build portion of this, which considering that it's only on a 30 by 30 lot is an incredibly long video. It took me over seven hours to get this build done. So I did have to edit out quite a few things. I edited out a lot of different stuff, a lot of just cluttering, me being indecisive, you know, picking swatches, stuff like that. And yeah, I did, I had to edit out a lot of things because like I said, it took me forever. I was really indecisive when I was building this for some reason because I didn't really have an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. So when I was actually planning out the exterior of this house, fun story if you don't, if you're like new on the channel and you don't know this, usually when I do a speed build, I will go in and before I even start recording, I'll go in and I'll plan out kind of like just the exterior shape and if I'm doing like a house build or something, I'll also plan out the floor plan just so that I know that, you know, the house can fit everything that I need it to fit, especially if it's for my save file where I usually already have, you know, like a family in my head that I want to live here and I kind of already have all of the family dynamics and everything figured out so I have to build the house or the lot you know for that specific family if that makes sense so it like needs a certain amount of bedrooms or bathrooms or you know it needs an office or something like that so usually i'll go through off camera and i'll plan out like the exterior shape make sure that i kind of like like it can do the roofing fairly well and i'll also plan out the like layout on the interior and then i'll take pictures of it and i'll bulldoze the whole thing and kind of like rebuild it which is kind of why this house looks like it came together fairly quickly especially the shape and the floor plan is because it's because i already planned it out and then kind of just redid it you know on camera but just doing that for this build took me hours i scrapped like completely bulldozed four different exteriors that i did just because i couldn't either like get the roofing to work properly or I couldn't get, you know, the floor plan to work properly because this house did need to have four bedrooms and, you know, maybe like two, three bathrooms at least. And it also needed to have an office. So this house is technically, it could be five bedrooms, but the way I have it set up is it's four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Now, the reason that it needed to be this big is because I already created the family for this house. So this is the house for the Voss family and I won't pick a, put a picture of them up on the screen but I did do a create a sim video of this family that went up on I think Tuesday so I'll leave that linked on this on the screen and in the description because I explained a little bit about the family's backstory and their personalities and kind of like showed me creating them all of that stuff in that video so I might not like go over all of their personalities and everything like that again in this video depending on you know, it just depends on how this voiceover goes, basically. But because I needed to, it to be that big, it took me forever to, like, find a floor plan that works. And even this floor plan, when I had settled on the exterior, I kind of went in and I redid the floor plan for this house, like, three times. Like I said, it took me, like, ages and ages to do. And even though I did all of that stuff off camera, all of that planning and like figuring out off camera, I still had like seven hours of footage of me actually building the house, like building the house, doing the exterior, doing the interior for this house took me so long because I really, really kind of got, I guess kind of like carried away with personalizing the interior of the house because I had a very clear idea in my head of the Sims that live here and their personalities and 
because I really really like the family that I created. I really like the Voss family and their dynamics and you know just their personalities and all of that stuff. I kind of wanted to make sure that the house reflected that as much as possible. So yeah, it's only on a 30 by 30 lot. It's four bedrooms, could be five bedrooms, three bathrooms. One of the bathrooms are act is actually an ensuite for the parents. And then there's a full bathroom upstairs and another full bathroom downstairs as well. And then there's also an office downstairs for Maya Voss, who's one of the moms. So they have their office downstairs. And then there's four bedrooms upstairs. So Maya and Lillian's bedroom is upstairs, as well as the two teenagers' rooms. So what was the teenagers' names again? Dean, who's the teenage son. And then what was the teenage girl's? Ruby. Ruby. Then Ruby also has her room upstairs. And then their child's room is upstairs as well. So little Peter's room is up there as well. And the teenagers actually share a bathroom. So the other like full bathroom upstairs is kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom for the two teens. And then the downstairs bathroom is, you know, the one that I figured Peter would use. It's also like the guest bathroom. So yeah, that's basically the house. We also have a really big living room downstairs as well as a like a really big open plan kitchen and dining room. So yeah, that's kind of what I had in my head for this house. I also gave it a couple of, you know, lot traits and stuff. I gave it the teen hangout, chef's kitchen and fast internet lot trait. And then I also gave it the reduce and recycle lot challenge. Just because I figured, you know, they're in a very pretty area of Copperdale. This is actually in the Plumbite Cove area of Copperdale. So this is actually on the... Originally, if you start like a new save, this lot will actually be completely empty. So it's like totally empty lot in the Plumbite Cove area, which is where the pier is with, you know, the Ferris wheel, all of that stuff. So yeah, it's in that area of the world. So I figured, you know, they would recycle and make sure that, you know, they take care of their surroundings, all of that stuff, even though none of them are really outdoorsy. Like none of these Sims are outdoorsy at all. Like... I mean, I guess Lillian, one of the moms, would probably be the most outdoorsy one out of all of them. Just because she's really into, like, fitness and jogging and stuff. But the other Sims are all, like, very... I, don't, I didn't give any of them, like, the indoorsy... Or did I? I gave I gave Dean the indoorsy, um, the, like, the lifestyle, like, the Sim lifestyle. So they actually have the indoorsy lifestyle. But none of the other Sims are really super into being outside, which actually worked out really well because the backyard in this house, for, like, for this house, is so small because the house is so big and it's only a 30 by 30 lot. So I didn't really have a lot of space for the backyard. There's basically nothing out there apart from like a seating area, a like really nice round big dining table, a grill. There's actually a grill and a bar on the back porch. And then I also managed to fit in a swing set at the back. So that's basically the whole backyard. And then also some like landscaping and stuff like that. But the house actually has like a really, really pretty view of this little creek and you know this little I guess kind of like pond lake bit which is so gorgeous I love the way it turned out I don't really think I took any like proper screenshots of like the view from the back but it's so pretty I love you know the lot placement where this lot is placed it's so gorgeous like the surroundings and stuff and that's also where the house got its name like the creekside family home is because it's literally like right next to a creek so or like a stream or whatever you'd call it it's not really a river it's not big enough to be called a river I don't think so it's more like a creek but yeah that's kind of where the house got its name as well so you'll notice that we have moved on to the kitchen I actually did the kitchen first and then I went through and I did I think the living room and then I went through and did the bathrooms and I just I did this house like kind of out of order for how I usually build so I did have to cut out like I said a lot of stuff so I had to cut out me choosing like the floorboards I also cut out me doing the wallpapers but you'll notice that throughout the whole process of me furnishing this I never I didn't do the wallpapers I do the wallpapers literally as like at the end before I head on out to the exterior to do the backyard is when I do the wallpapers. So throughout all of the furnishing of all of the rooms, none of them have wallpaper. And that's just because I wanted to get the like 
color scheme for all of the items and the furniture and stuff i wanted to get all of that done first and then i wanted to kind of like plan the wallpapers around that if that makes sense so i don't know i found like recently that i've been doing this in a lot of my builds where i leave the wallpapers for last which i don't know for some reason it's kind of working out for me i guess i don't feel as restricted when it comes to color schemes and stuff if i do it this way where you know if i already have the wallpaper picked out then i kind of for some reason personally i always feel like i have to like if i have like a blue wallpaper i can't go in and use like green sofas for example for some reason that always bugs me if i have like clashing colors which you know doing the wallpapers last means that i don't have to worry about that and i can pick swatches for items that i like and then work the wallpapers around that at the end but yeah, so you'll notice that I did use a lot of the new pack items. I did try and lean into all of like the more modern art deco kind of vibes that all of the items give off. I tried to use as many of the new items as I could, basically. So even though the house is kind of more like, I guess, suburban, traditional type on the exterior, especially the shape and stuff, a lot of the windows and like doors and everything look like, you know, maybe they've... I guess like renovated the house a little bit maybe they've replaced the windows and replaced the front door and you know done a lot of renovations on the interior as well so like wallpapers basically they've gone in they've bought this house and they've completely like completely renovated the whole thing to make it fit you know what they wanted which is something that i really really like i really like doing that and not kind of restricting myself to a particular style more so like just going in and putting in and furnishing it how i figured these sims would have liked it so yeah i had a lot of fun doing that so a lot of the furniture and stuff is a little bit more modern and a little bit more like art deco i didn't particularly go for like art deco style because i don't really i'm not really familiar with that style but i basically just used a lot of the items from the new pack which are art deco kind of inspired items i also used quite a few things from the i think yeah it's like the day yeah decor to the max kit i used a few items from that kit as well because it really fit i also used a ton of things from like vintage glamour and even bowling light stuff i think and then get famous as well because a lot of the like i guess more modern and even the mid-century stuff from those packs kind of work I guess with you know the vibes that I was going for for this house so yeah a lot of the furniture in the like main areas of the house are very like black white monochrome you know black white there's a lot of blues various different like shades of blue and then grays and stuff and then also pops of this kind of like warm almost warm yellow wood so the exterior of the house actually has a different wood tone like it has a very like yellow orangey wood tone then we have this like these floorboards that are a little bit more muted a little bit darker not darker but i guess it, they're not as like bright as the wood and then we have that orangey wood from the dream home decorator pack that you'll have noticed in the kitchen so that's the the wood swatch that basically the counters and stuff has i kind of tried to incorporate that wood like that wood uh, like tone or whatever throughout a couple of other items in the rest of the house as well just to make it look a little bit like you know these items aren't things that they've like accumulated over the years these items are very much stuff that you know they've gone out they've decided to maybe like redo the kitchen they've gone out and they've like replaced everything in the kitchen and then they decided to do the living room and decided you know we're gonna get matching items and you know i kind of tried to do that for all of the rooms even the kids bedrooms as well like the kid and teenager rooms as well i tried to make them look like you know all of the items they've been chosen to look that way they're not stuff that they've you know gotten over the years or that they've inherited or you know anything like that they're very much like very i guess like i don't know i guess intentionally picked items if that makes sense so yeah there's a lot of like matching colors this house definitely like the house definitely matches there's a lot of like very similar swatches colors all of that throughout the whole house the kids all kind of have their own 
color schemes for their rooms i guess but it still fits with the rest of the house which i'll talk about a little bit more once we get to it but you'll notice that on this stairway like wall i guess i actually ended up putting a couple of picture frames from the moschino stuff back and i believe those ones that have the like three slots on them are base game i don't know i can't remember if that one is base game but basically i used a couple of things from the moschino pack in this as well because again just the style fit and also because maya and her and their daughter ruby they're both actually into photography as well so in maya's office which is the office downstairs and in Ruby's bedroom upstairs, you'll notice that I did put a couple of cameras, both the base game one and the one from the Moschino pack. I put a couple of cameras like on their bedside tables or on their desk or whatever. So just to kind of show that, you know, both of them are really into photography and they kind of like like taking pictures. And so those picture frames that I have on the staircase or like on the wall in the staircase in my save file, I will actually have those filled with, you know, family pictures of these Sims because I figured, you know, they're definitely a family that would have family pictures everywhere. And I even put one of those picture frames, you know, the one with the three different like picture slots on it. I even put one of those in Maya's office as well. So they have one of those picture frames next to their desk, which is really cute. And then also I went a little bit overboard with the with those RGB like light strips that came with the new pack. So basically I have those light strips in practically I think every single room in the house. I have them in all of the bathrooms. I have those in the kitchen, I have them in the living room, I obviously have them in Miles' office and then all of the bedrooms, even the main parents' bedroom, they have like all those light strips on two of the walls, all of the kids have them and off camera actually before I went in and took the screenshots, I actually went in and individually changed the lights, like the light color for all of those light strips so all of the rooms kind of have like their own lighting effects which is really cool like i said i had a lot of fun building this and i got a little bit carried away with you know adding detail and adding clutter which is why i had to cut out so much so yeah i also cut out all of the bathrooms i don't think i mentioned that but yeah i did cut out all of the bathrooms i do have all of them in the screenshots though so if you want to see like all of the bathrooms anything that i might have cut out everything is in the screenshots at the end i also i'll also make sure to like put timestamps in the description as well to kind of like let you know where different points in this video is and all of that stuff i don't know how many of you actually find timestamps useful but i definitely do when i watch videos so i try to and i like try to remember to put those in especially when it's a long video like this one so yeah i'll definitely make sure to have that in the description but yeah, so we've moved on to Maya and Lillian's room. And their room is probably one of my favorite bedrooms. Out of this house, though, my favorite bedroom is definitely Ruby's room. Her room is also the biggest room out of all of the bedrooms. The, her bedroom is actually bigger than her mom's rooms. So yeah, she doesn't have an ensuite. She kind of, like I said, shares a bathroom with her, with her brother. <laughs> I can't speak. She shares a bathroom with her brother but her bedroom is definitely the biggest room out of all of the bedrooms because she also has that really big like that really annoyingly big might i add that annoyingly big like video creation station thing from get famous so the one where your sims can actually like make youtube videos and stuff so she actually has that in her bedroom along with a desk with a laptop and stuff like that and she also has a closet area she has a double bed as well because she is the oldest one of the two teenagers so i figured you know she would probably have a double bed and yeah her bedroom is probably my favorite bedroom out of the whole house and then after that it's probably maya and lillian's room so this like master like main bedroom just because I love all of the black that I used, I love all of the swatches and I love like I love all of the swatches of the beds. I wish I do wish that there were a cup that there were a couple more like you know just plain swatches for the beds, especially the ones that definitely look like they could be like parents' beds, like this one for example, and that 
plane, the one with the plane wooden headboard as well. I wish a couple of them had some more plain swatches. And just like plain bedding swatches that weren't, you know, so obviously like, you know, that weren't like, you know, obviously meant for a teenager's like super stylized personalized room, if that makes sense. But otherwise, other than that, I just, I love all of the items from the new pack. So for this house, because these Sims do have a very like, individual and unique style compared to a lot of my other sims these sims are very like i don't know they're very loud and they don't really care about what other people think they don't really care about what other people think you know about you know how their house looks or how they dress or you know anything like that they're very like I guess, yeah, like, they just really don't care. So, they have a very bright and stylized house. So, I could use all of, like, the fun swatches of the items from the new pack. But if this was a little bit more of a, I guess, traditional, I could probably say maybe, like, more traditional or kind of, like, subdued family home, then I probably couldn't use a lot of the new items or a lot of the new swatches for like a regular i say in air quotes family home but for this one i definitely could so we have maya and lillian's bedroom who that's very like black white and pink which is a color scheme that i don't really all do all that often i use pink a lot in my bedrooms just because a lot of the items in the game comes in pink but i don't really use black pink and white together a lot so i had a lot of fun with that even their bathroom has i actually used the parenthood bathtub from yeah from obviously the parenthood pack duh but i used the parenthood bathtub shower combo in all of the bathrooms and all three of them have like a different swatch so in Maya and Lillian's bathroom, they actually have the pink and black and white one. Which again, I never use that bathtub. I use that bathtub maybe in like one or two of the swatches. And then the other swatches are usually just too, too bright and too like patterned. And I just, I can never make it fit anywhere properly. But for this house, I had a lot of fun picking out like just fun and bright swatches that I probably wouldn't use for most of my builds. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. So even their bathroom is very like, you know, very stylized. Like I said, a lot of this house or like most of this house is definitely filled with items that you can clearly tell they went and kind of like renovated the whole thing at once and just furnished it with matching items so obviously you know the kids have their own clutter and you know they've kind of personalized their rooms as well with you know posters and clutter and all of that kind of fun stuff but a lot of like the big furniture items you can clearly tell that they have all been like picked out you know at once obviously they probably would have allowed all of the kids and stuff to pick their own items to like pick their own furniture but you know they would have had a little bit of a hand in you know the style of the items but for example this kid's bedroom that we're working on right now this is actually the child's bedroom so peter's bedroom and he's really creative but he's not really like artsy if that makes sense he's not really into like drawing and stuff although i do have a couple of drawings in maya's office at the end when we do their office i actually have a couple of like drawings from the debug menu that definitely look like you know they've been drawn by a child and i have those up on their wall just as you know maybe one of the kids drew them maybe you know maybe peter drew them for Maya or maybe you know one of the other kids drew them when they were younger or something like that but Peter is not really super into art he's more so into music so he actually really really loves playing the piano so he has a little keyboard in his bedroom he also has obviously a lot of toys a desk you know all of that fun stuff and he has the new dresser that I actually ended up using kind of as a bedside table as well that actually matches the desk that I have in his room and I love the way that dresser and the table look like they've been painted, which is really fun. So I figured maybe he did that. Maybe he and I don't know, maybe like Maya or Lillian or something helped him. And they kind of did that over a weekend, which was a really fun thing. And then he also has just like I said, a bunch of toys and stuff like that. 
and then yeah i think that's everything that i wanted to mention about peter's room i think i can't remember <laughs> but yeah moving on to the other boy's bedroom so this is dean's bedroom dean is yeah he's the, one of the teenagers he's they're the young they're the younger of the two teenagers and they're actually like super geeky and nerdy and they're actually in the chess club so in my safe file dean is going to be in the chess club he's kind of like the captain of the chess team if that makes sense and then ruby who's the oldest teenager she's actually going to be part of the cheerleading team but she doesn't really fit in with them she doesn't really like being on the team she's more so into like you know being a simfluencer and fashion she loves fashion she's also really into making videos which is why i gave her that get famous video table thing so yeah she makes like videos and she's on simstagram takes she loves taking photos like i said that's something that she and Maya kind of like share as like a shared hobby. So yeah, she's more so into doing stuff like that. She's more so into like online stuff. But she's actually just part of the cheerleading team. Because it would, it'll look good like on a college application. I, obviously in The Sims it doesn't really matter as far as I know. Gameplay wise it doesn't really like have an impact on you know your Sims getting accepted into university or anything like that. But in my head, you know, realistically, it would have, you know, having more extracurricular activities and stuff like that on your, like, school stuff. The pay, like, adds into, you know, where you get accepted for university. So, she's just on the cheerleading team for that reason. And, yeah, she's really good. Like I said, Simfluencer career. She's part of that. She makes videos, photography, all of that stuff. She's, like, a straight-A student. She's, like, a very big overachiever. And then we have Dean, who's also, I believe, Maya, not Ru not Maya, what am I saying? Ruby has the, I can't, I think I gave her the, did I give her, I didn't give her the, like, goal-oriented, like, new aspiration, like, teen aspiration. I believe I gave her the, like, style, not style icon, but the, yeah, was it style icon? Or was it, like, one of the new teen aspirations? That has something to do with being an icon or something like that. I can't remember the exact, like, I can't remember the exact name of it for some weird reason. Like, I created them quite a while ago. And I gave her, her obviously I created them a while ago. And I also furnished their room, like, furnished the house quite a while ago as well. But yeah, I can't, I can't find a single note that I have about what aspiration I gave her. So I gave her like the aspiring icon or something icon aspiration. But she does have the overachiever trait, which is a new trait that came with the pack. So I did give her that trait. So like I said, she's very much an overachiever, after school clubs, like part-time job like makes videos on the side, has like A grades, all of that stuff. And then Dean actually has the goal-oriented aspiration that came with the pack so yeah he, they actually have the goal-oriented like teen specific aspiration they're in the chess team like they're the captain of the chess team they're also a straight a student but they're also really into gaming and you know i just i love their style i tried not to make dean's room look like the stereotypical like geeky nerdy you know kids like teenagers room also his their personal style as well like their outfits and stuff don't really match that stereotypical you know geeky sim look they kind of look a little bit more i don't know kind of like they gave me like very like hipster skater type vibes but their bedroom is actually also one that i really really liked their room actually has a little bit more of like an orange and green color scheme which is something that doesn't really match the house but overall like the furniture style does match the house and then we've actually moved on to ruby's bedroom at this point while i was talking about i don't know what at this point but we moved on to ruby's bedroom and as you can see her room definitely has you know she has the most space out of everyone in the like in the house purely because i knew i wanted to fit in that get famous like video station thing so I knew I needed her bedroom to be really, really big because otherwise there was no way I was going to be able to fit it. And also because I knew I needed to give her a desk as well. So she actually has this desk area that kind of doubles as a 
little like vanity space and then obviously you know you can put her laptop in like her inventory or something if she needs to do homework or you know whatever but yeah so we have her bed she is the only one of the teenagers that has a double bed because like i said she's the oldest as well and then kind of like her bed and like the wall behind her bed they're kind of like the backdrop for her videos so that's something that i also paid attention to and you'll notice it once we get to maya's office as well i definitely paid attention to what you know realistically would be the backdrop for all of their videos so for ruby's videos as well as maya's videos because maya is actually one of, obviously like i said she's one of the moms and they're actually in the like game like the game streamer like part-time career that came with the new pack so that career my only like problem with the like two new careers like part-time careers that came with the pack the simfluencer one and the game streamer one is the fact that they're part-time so like actually i like realistically i would have liked it if those careers were like full-time careers i know why they aren't because obviously they're kind of meant to be more for like teenagers to do like in addition to going to school and you know all of their after school stuff but I would have loved if those careers were actually like full-time careers or if they, I don't know, kind of like converted over into a full-time career or if we had like an equivalent full-time career as well. Because, yeah, I don't know, for stuff like this where, you know, being a streamer isn't just something that teenagers do, obviously. I mean, you know, it's something that a lot of like adults do as well and a lot of them do it as their full-time job so having those careers be like full-time careers for your sims would have been so nice just because obviously they would have made more they would make more money they would work more hours and you know all of that stuff which would be really great just for realism and stuff like that so in my head maya is like a full-time streamer she is not just or like they're not just like you know part-time but obviously because of the game's limitations, they do only, like, technically work, work part-time. But, yeah, so that's just something that I wanted to mention. So, we're actually done with Ruby's room as, at this point. And we've moved on to Maya's office. So, you'll notice that I mess around with the layout of their office quite a bit. Because, like I said, I did want to pay attention to what, you know, realistically would be their video background. Or, like, their stream background or stuff like that. So... In Ruby's case, obviously, you know, her videos are more like, she doesn't really do gaming stuff. She does more of the, like, get famous type videos where, you know, it's like reviews and blog, like vlogs and stuff like that. So her background is kind of like her bed and the artwork on her wall, stuff like that. And then in Maya's case, it's more so, you know, she's a game, they're a game like streamer and game like gamer very big like gamer stuff so in their office i actually wanted to make it look like you know they have all of those posters on the wall and i had added a lot of like led light strips and you know a lot of those fun like new led like triangle light configuration things that are actually part of the like pre-order incentive thing for this pack so if you pre-order the pack before i think so September or like August I don't know if you pre-ordered the pack before a certain date you got like three extra items so you got a new like desk like gaming chair thing desk chair that I'm actually using in this office and then you got those like triangle lights like LED triangle lights and you also got a little sound stereo speaker thing that I haven't used but I did use those lights and those desk chairs I believe in I used the chair in Maya's office as well as for Ruby's like for that for that video video station I believe I used the chair for like the new chair for her as well but anyway basically I used a lot of those things for this backdrop for Maya for their like you know video background and I also merged a couple of those almost like Elgato looking like lights that came with Honestly, I think those lights came with the Moschino pack, if I'm not mistaken. They either came with the Moschino stuff pack or they came with Get Famous. I'm not sure which one. 
But I kind of merged them into the tables. They have this like really big dining table as their desk. And I merged those lights into the table. And then I lowered them into the floor with the tool mod. So that they... Otherwise, they're kind of like really, really high off the ground. Like not high off the ground, but they're really high up. Because they're meant to be for photography. For like the photography station and stuff. They're not actually meant to be like... And I guess like video lighting but for this obviously I needed to use them for that because we don't really have anything else that could work so I just did a couple of tricks with that and then again her back their background has a lot of just game stuff just like figurines and collectible stuff and just I don't know I just I really like the way it looks so they also have one of the new chairs in their background one of that like egg hanging chair and a little dog bed because this family does have two dogs they have two Pekingese dogs and Maya actually has a dog bed in their office and then there's another dog bed in the living room and then there's also one in Peter's bedroom as well because he's really like he really loves animals and their dogs are the dogs are probably like closest to Maya and Peter so they have like dog beds in their kind of like spaces for them as well because in my head you know maybe when Maya streams you know one of the dogs like likes sleeping in the room when she's when they're streaming or maybe one of them likes sleeping with Peter in his room or you know just stuff like that so I had a lot of fun with you know little ideas like that which you know probably would never actually happen in the game because as far as I've seen whenever I've played the game pets really sleep in their beds they've like even if they have pet beds uh, like all over the house they very rarely actually sleep in them they usually just sleep on the floor or on a couch or like on a bed or something which is actually very realistic as well because like my whole life every time we've had like a dog bed or a cat bed or anything like that and we've had animals like pets my whole life I can't remember a time when we haven't had like at least one dog and one cat so yeah even though we've like whenever we've had like actual beds for them they would never ever sleep on them no matter what we did they would much rather either sleep on the floor or on our beds or like on a couch or something and they would never actually sleep where we'd want them to sleep so at this point we've kind of just given up and we've like turned whole couches into like just throwing blankets on the couch for them to sleep on at this point but yeah so that's something that i thought i would mention and we've moved on to the exterior of this house which means we're almost done with it i can't believe i've talked through this whole video i haven't done a voiceover this long in forever which is probably why you can notice that my voice is kind of going at this point <laughs> so yeah my voice is definitely going a little bit croaky so yeah if you can notice that then i'm really sorry but like i said i'm not used to doing voiceovers this long and yeah just i don't know doing this whole video was such a struggle for me now this is going to get a little bit more like i guess real for a second like not game related or like not technically video related just more rambly stuff but doing this whole video has been such a struggle bus experience for me for some reason i don't know building the house was really fun like i said had a lot of fun with it love the way it turned out probably one of my favorite houses that i've ever done but all of the other stuff after that has been such a pain like getting this thing edited and you know finding time to sit down and do the voiceover and all of that stuff has taken me so dang long i don't know why it was i don't know why it's happened but like i said i had like seven hours worth of footage and usually when i have a video that long i always dread editing it because it takes me forever to like get the video to like a decent length because for example with this one that seven hours of footage turned into you know just sped up it was i believe like an hour and 15 minutes or something and obviously i can't post an hour long video because i don't want to do an hour long voiceover <laughs> so i had to go through painstakingly and cut out you know a lot of stuff to make it just a little bit shorter and this video is still like really really long usually i don't like posting videos that are over 30 minutes long so yeah just doing this video 
just getting it to this length was such a pain because editing something that's this long is so so tedious and I really struggle with staying like focused on something if it's boring to me so editing yes it's very boring to me i will admit that it's one of the more boring aspects of like making youtube videos unless you're doing some like fun editing then it's not boring but if you're just sitting through an hour's worth of like speed build stuff and trying to pay like really close attention to what you can and cannot cut out then it's very irritating and very boring and time consuming. So yeah, just sitting down and doing that took me forever. And I don't know for why, but for some reason this week, I don't know if it's because I'm like on my period or what it is, but this week I just could not concentrate on anything. Like, like I don't know why, but I mentioned this over on Twitter, but I just, I could not concentrate on a single thing to like save my life. So just doing that was like really really hard and just getting through the editing and finding time to now do the voiceover i mean this is why the video is late as well because i couldn't do it earlier because i actually finished editing this video at 7 a.m this morning and then i went to bed so yeah i have to do the video like the voiceover later and we had family over and it was just it's a whole thing and now i have to sit and edit the voiceover as well so yeah that will be fun but that's why this video is out a little bit later than usual. But yeah, sorry for that ramble. Hope you guys enjoyed this build. It's almost done. So I hope you enjoyed the build. If you did, give the video a like. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see more Sims content. You know, all of that YouTube stuff. Leave me a comment. Everything like that. But I hope you're all having a great day. And that you've had a great week. And I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>